y'all this is what it's like to be a poet in america i forgot my vlogging camera at home and it's pouring down rain it's always pouring down rain y'all see my hair it's natural today i got my i got my my beauty bag because i got edge control got to be listen we're gonna snap these i'm not doing no makeup i'm i'm not doing that but we're gonna snap some lashes on so i can at least look alive y'all i had a sty underneath my eyelid earlier this week I killed that hoe. I'm a professional at this point because I used to get them all the time when I was a kid. Y'all, why is it so hard to open these lashes? And I love Kiss Lashes. These are the Kiss So Wispy and the O3. Y'all, I love Kiss Lashes because guess what? I don't have to, uh, I don't have to put them. I don't have to cut them. They're always like the perfect length for my eyeballs. And I didn't have any false scares, so I had to run to Walgreens and just get some uh, lash glue. So we're not going to put these underneath like I usually do. Um, actually, we might. Let's see. Let's see if it looks. Okay, no, I'm scared. I mean, it's not. It's not giving false scares. So we're going to, it's going to give lash strip glue and we're just going to put it on the lash like, um, like so, like that. I'm gonna put a lot on there. I don't plan on wearing my glasses. You know, maybe it'll help so I won't have to look at these people who are uh, looking at me. We're gonna set them down. Let them get a little, a little tacky as they should. Y'all, this is what it's like to be a poet in America. This is what this page is about. Hey, if you do not know who I am, my name is Alexis Lawson. I am a poet, a writer, a creative, and I'm giving y'all the behind the scenes of what it's like becoming a writer in the 21st century because I feel like we all need a little bit of black girl magic and a little bit of black girl artsy shit. So I'm gonna come back when I got these lashes on. Oh, I had to put lashes on without my tweezers because I definitely left my tweezers at the house. So we can get these to stick to my face and not to my uh, finger. That would be amazing. We got the lashes on. We're gonna put a little, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little, just a little. We're gonna use Honest Beauty. So, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes being a black woman in America is a little bit exhausting. Yeah. And I think it's time that we talk about it. So, we're gonna talk about it. Talk your shit. Right. Talk. Maybe they drank too much. Have way too many salted tears. Maybe their throats are dry, that's why they're silent. But what does that say for their eyes? Are they dry too? Exchanging tears for glances at their privilege and enhances the spotlight that is always and never on you. Did you know that there's a spectrum of lessons no one ever taught us about, like how to reimagine the view? Everyone hates the dark but loves the midnight hue. How brightly stars shine in the sky. They always see one, but the others are often invisible to the naked eye, it's true. It's exhausting. How the lightest things create the largest shadows and ask you how you enjoy the view. I want to know how you enjoy the cold. Shoulders. Stairs. How they say there's no one in the room but you're standing right here. Did you hold a cup up to my eye last night while I cried tussling with hair that fights for its freedom? Do you ever wonder what it's like to be brown in a white man's kingdom? But nonetheless, I pay. Words scrambling around my mind like, who the fuck are they talking to? But also, why the fuck am I silent like words don't keep my life sewing? Bill pie the episodes of scenarios that will never air, yet the air in my lungs never makes it to my chest. And do I really have the heart of a lion if they never hear me roar? I hate what poetry has done to us. It has taken up all the air in the room, then giving you the option to breathe and being number two. Ain't nothing new to me, but now I'm sitting in the audience and I'm no longer standing in the way you see poetry has the ability to make you fall in love while it deceives you. It'll set the table but never be ready to receive you. And yes, it may warrant applause, but it will never feed you. And I'm sorry to be the one to tell you that it's gonna be the reason that everyone leaves you. I hate poetry. Well, I'm good, man. I think I hate you too.
is the next day. This vlog has been a little chaotic, but we got some ice cream from this like Hispanic place. I'm gonna put the name up there. I got strawberry vanilla. Nick got like chocolate. It tastes like a Klondike bar. Mine tastes like, I don't know. Not strawberry vanilla, but I don't know. It tastes weird, but it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we are gonna do next. But if this is the last thing, thank y'all so much for tuning into this chaotic vlog. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Mm -hmm.